I can do it. Basic nursing task. Darwin, it's AAU. Or do I call you Lady Byrne? Well, Lyndon wants Joseph down here as soon as possible, please. He's still in theatre. I'll ask Miss Naylor, OK? Bye. OK, here we go. Adoption papers. So, character references. I was, uh... I was thinking of Lyndon would be a good shot. I don't think we should ask anyone to do anything at the moment. Right. Has Lucas been back in touch? No. Not a peep. It was Lucas who rang at the wedding. Yes. I said it was. Yes, I know, but, uh, she seemed a bit edgy about it, and, uh... Well, honestly, for one horrible moment, I thought it might have been Jack stirring up trouble again. No. Not at all. It was Lucas. He just wanted to wish us good luck. Mr. and Mrs. Byrne, congratulations. There was a little gift accompanying this moment, but... but um, I'm, I may have accidentally given away your 2004 Chambre Ah, well, I won't be saving it for Archie's 18th, then. On the bright side, there may be an opportunity for you today. Um, aortic valve resection, you've gone solo on that before. Only I've got a pressing domestic... Can't say that I have, will you? You'll be fine. <clears throat> it's uh, that bloke Ollie's your brother, right? Yep. Last time I checked, I heard he's a bit of a star. <laughs> I suppose so. A guy like that, I mean, he's, he's single. If that's what you're digging for. No, I wasn't actually. Well, not for me, anyway. It's just some of the others were asking. <clears throat> I'm sorry, look, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. But, yeah, sorry, the uh, cystic fibrosis. <laughs> Poor kid, eh? you seen the notes? No, it's just obvious, isn't it? What if they blame me? What if I lose my pension? Don't worry. I can't win, Russ. You know, if he lives, they'll stitch me up. If he dies, they'll stitch me up. You've done nothing wrong. Just your job. Right, afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Mr. Byrne. I'll be looking after your, um, your, uh, charge. Yeah. What happened to Curly, old fellow? I'm afraid Mr. Hope had a personal situation to deal with. Then Mr. Byrne will be doing the procedure. Yeah. He'll be OK, yeah? Well, I've only just got the notes. I'm afraid I'm slightly playing catch-up at the moment. They think he had a heart defect or something. Was that Mr. Hope's diagnosis? Something like that. Something medical. Right. There's often lots we can do about that. See? He'll sort it out. Sorry, there's this uh, patient. It's a, it's a bit complicated. We've had a breakthrough. Oh. Uh, there's this neurosurgeon um, in Taiwan who's been leading the way with robotic techniques. Yes. Um, that, that may be quite early research. No, no, look. The photos and everything. I think Ben needs to adjust to reality before we bombard him with untested... Look, I understand that you're the doctor, but... I have every right to explore everything. Dad, can you just look, please? Um, I think we should just see what Jerry says, and uh, I'll do some trawling of the journals. Oh, and guess what? I'm moving to Morpeth. Goodness. We've been talking practicalities. Martha can help out, especially with the change over days in the cottages. Uh, as a cleaner? Well, we all muck in. What about your degree? Well, they're both going to have to make sacrifices. It's not fair to expect Ben to... Yes, but it's a bit of an upheaval for Martha. Hardly the same situation as Ben. Besides, with her experience, she's going to be needed. I told Philippa I used to work here as a healthcare assistant. Ah, oh, yes, I'd forgotten that. <laughs> mm, that's really good. Normally, only teenagers can do it so well. I know. I presume that you've had this before. The sound waves look for blockages. Duh, I know that too. And you understand that we put the jelly on your tummy? It's not the tummy, it's the bowel. Yeah, but the gel will go here, though. All oh, right. You weren't clear. And I suppose you've read that article in The Lancet on interception surgery? Mum only lets me get the BMJ. Ah, well, it was quite interesting. It was talking about rates of surgical success versus medical treatments via x-rays and air enema. Which was most successful? Well, it depended on the patient, but in the conclusions... What did it say? Unbalance. 
it proved to be as effective as surgical intervention. Oh, right. So I should probably tell Mr Griffin that his treatment is outdated? Um. No. He needs to know what you've discovered. If he's wrong, we should tell him. All right, suction. Two approaching vegetative sutures, please. So how are we doing, Joseph? Yep, nearly done, but this, uh, this is interesting. What is it? Abscess on the aortic root with that scarring is very possibly endocarditis. Explains the raised temperature. Endocarditis. Very good. Well, not very good, but an explanation. Well, we knew there was an existing condition, though. The officer said that you had diagnosed a pre-existing condition. Well, I didn't diagnose that. We couldn't know before we opened it. Right. So, so what causes it? With aortic valve disease, the risk of infection is extremely high. So anything from poor sanitation in the prison to no. nutrition to help. So no one did anything to him. It, it's no one's fault. Or all of our faults, depending on how you look at it. I'll get it. <coughs> Double one. Speaking. AAU. I'm expecting an urgent phone call, actually. I, I would quite like to camp in my office. I'm nearly done. I can be there in five. Uh, Mr. Byrne can be there. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. This is why you are destined for great things. Right. Um, Mr. Byrne will explain the details, but I can say that things went well surgically. It was worth taking the risk. It's a great relief. Thank you. See? He's not going to die. He's going to be fine. He still said I put the booty. They all say we put the booty in. They're not going to take his word for it. He's a wind-up merchant. He likes press buttons, doesn't he? Exactly. Everyone knows that. The thing is, Russ, he might have pressed my buttons a bit, you know. I might have got a bit rough with him. He was kicking off. He needed to be taught a lesson. You know how it is. Say this law, work it out. Say they can tell. Bruising. You won't grasp me up, will you? Of course not. <laughs> Misadvised freaky man child and now he wants to tell the boss. I need some serious strategic advice. I can't bunk off, I just come on shift. Well, let me call you back, it might be quiet. Yeah, so you're gonna be okay. Just stay Yeah, calm. probably not make it. That's it, you just breathe. Reaction to a medication? No, I asked. Only on supplements. Let's double check that. Can I do anything? No, we need a shopping. Oh, I'll go. Okay, thanks. It's on Darwin. Ask for Faye. She's the sister there. And see if there's anything from a chemist. Okay. Right, well, she's stabilising, although her breathing's getting rapidly worse. Severe asthma? No, rule that out. So where are the bloods? Delayed. X-rays are here. Pneumonia? Peptic ulcer? Yeah, it's difficult to say without the blood results. Keep her on oxygen. Could it be psychological? Panic attack? No, she'd calm down. She's quite rational, really, apart from the needle thing. She did complain of abdo pain. OK, uh, let's do abdominal x-rays. Yeah, he's here. Joseph, your theatre patient's ready to go to HDU. Right, um, say I'm heading back up. Could we have a quick word in your office, please? Ominous. It's personal. OK. Oh, look, it doesn't matter. Forget it. We're too busy. Sure? Yeah, it's nothing, really. OK. I'm worried that Faye is having second thoughts. About you? No, about me adopting Archie. I didn't realise you were adopting Archie. All right, now we're meeting the social worker this evening. She's not mentioned it. I think she's got reservations, but she's not telling me. Probably just post-wedding come down. It happens. You? Have any second thoughts? No, no, not at all. No, I just thought she might have sought an objective here, that's all. No, I haven't spoken to her since the wedding. No, no, that sounds too risky. Have you seen the work Mercer did at Trinity? No. Goodness. Oh. Okay, right. Uh, okay, I'll plug away. Um, I'll try
try and reinvent the 